Alright, Highlander Summit Finals. It is going to be a crazy one, too. Just watching through the entire event, it's been such a great time. Such a great signature, too. And now we have just two, four teams left, actually. Um, and it's just going to be so amazing. Finals, uh, let's break it down. Uh, first, starting with Autonomous, though. Um, yeah, Unicorns and Overclock. Her Autonomous is really good. Um, both teams are really, but, oh, looks like they have a failed autonomous here. Um, they, um, outtook the, uh, blocks instead of, um, intaked them. So now, yeah, they're in a pretty tough position, um, because it's gonna be a race at the match loaders now, so Overclock has to ignore these blocks and go straight for the match loader. Um... And yeah, I mean, I'd probably say, though, that blue is in the better position. But they're pretty, they're kind of even. Kind of, well, no, no. I'd, I'd say blue's in the better position. Oh, but we, here, driver control. Um, yeah, so it's going to be a race to these match loaders here. This one's f having trouble finding it. It just grabs a couple blocks and just sits there, which, that's fair, but I probably just would go to the match loader, especially since Unicorns was right here, so it had some extra time to get to the match loader, could have just scored a bunch and then guarded it, because you'd be nice to have some blocks stored up. But um, Blue over here won the battle. Um, they had to come back and defend really quickly before um, grabbing these things. But now they go towards the match loader, and they can do that because Blue has left some of its space here. Um, and there's some space between all these blocks, so that means the D-score hood wouldn't work as efficiently. Um, yeah, and they don't even have any blocks stored up, so definitely a great thing to go for the match loader. Um, unicorns here can descore middle roller kill and then come and attack this. Um, I wouldn't do it like at the start. You'd need a match load. F well, they already have a full. Um, so at least descore this first and then trying to attack this bot here. And this basketball just, it's ran out of match load, so it's just trying to find all the blocks it can, but, um, it, that's fair actually. Um, and now it can help out its teammate up, up here, which it's not going to, which is a bit odd. Um, I mean, oh yeah, there's not a block here, so that makes sense. Um, well, it, it actually should probably do it anyway, so Blue could get to the match loader. Um, because this, this goal is taken, no doubt about that. So Basket needs to aid its, um, hang up. Now, um, uh, Overclock here has a really nice position to go ahead and take advantage of this space long goal and attack this bat. Well, it doesn't really need to attack this bask. Well, it could, it could um, take control over this area and start slowly going towards the middle and seeing how these bots play out because um, depending on this basket's position, um, Overclock could help out this um, and push this bot, but it's, it's not in a good position to do so. Um, and now Overclock's just going to defend this goal. Um, ooh, the block is in the way. It's not going to be able to get that. This basket just needs to know that this goal is pretty much cooked. It needs to help out its teammate. Um, it has enough blocks. Um, or maybe the, both of these guys that could switch out so that um, the basket is in place to defend in this spot here is in place to attack this robot, uh, so the basket can score, but they're not going to do that. The basket's just going to run around grabbing blocks, which is a bit confusing, because it could be doing much more than that. And honestly, it, it's pretty good on blocks. It doesn't need more in blocks stored up, unless it's attacking this long goal. So, um, that's what Overclock is going to do. They're really realizing this, that they're stocking up a big... The only thing they're going to probably use that for is the long goal. So um, Overclock needs to um, just keep defending this long goal, which they'll be doing. And, um, and I, I don't even know why this basket even attempted to score. Like I said, this this 
um, long goal here is essentially cooked. Um, it needs to help out its opponents, or not opponents, but uh, teammates in this long goal over here, or grab the middle goals. Um, then overclock, great play, um, moving this basket out of the way because it has enough space to do so, and uh, it's not being attacked here at the long goal. Um, like I said, if, well, yeah, because this basket has kind of lost a bunch of its stuff, and overclock is just going to keep pushing up this basket. Um, the overclock needs to go for the middle, and that's exactly what it's going to do. If it goes for the middle and defend this at the same time, like back and forth, that's nice. But, um, ooh, Unicorns here um, actually gives up their positioning. Um, looks like they're just, yeah, they're going to go for the middle. Actually, really nice play to do. Because um, they really need that middle bonus, and this bot's not doing anything. Um, it can't really even descore because there's a space here, so... Hey, Unicorns actually could have probably found that out earlier, but... Um, now they're going to go for the middle. Um, they really need this middle bonus, and they're going to get it, so... Unicorns need to defend the middle now. Um, and Overclock needs to score some of its blocks it has. Yeah, Unicorns need to... Um, okay, they're going to score, but they need to park. And they're just not going to park for some reason. Yeah, Unicorns... Well, they, they need to de-score a bunch, but... Well, yeah, no, that was actually better. Um, I feel like they were trying to have Overclock park, but he was being pushed up, and then uh, Unicorns wanted to de-score the long goal. Um, so, yeah, honestly, pretty good stuff from um, Red Team. Um, and not so much as blue team, especially this basket. This basket has, has been causing the most problems, um, most mistakes. Um, yeah, this is definitely um, game one for unicorns and overclock. Can how head over to um, yeah, it's gonna be ninety one to thirty one. That's pretty significant. Um, <laughs> game two. Let's see if. Unicorns and Overclock can secure the their world spot. Alright, we have Autonomous now. Um, let's see if Overclock's Autonomous um, can actually work this time. Ooh, Unicorns fails their Autonomous, it looks like. But they do get the middle goals, at least. Overclock also fails theirs. Um... I mean, this basketball had a worse autonomous than it did last time. I'm pretty sure. Um, but the autonomous was worse for red this time. Um, yeah, blue is just in a, in a better position now. Um, yeah, so um, blue could pretty much win the race on both goals. Uh, we saw that last time. So, I mean, overclock, they need to fill up this long goal. Um, pretty much do the same thing it did last time, really. Although this bot is going to dis... Yeah, I don't know. This bot, it needs to grab the con the this match loader here, but it's just not going to. Because it can surely race unicorns. Um, it, It's farther away. And not just that, but um, unicorns have actually... They, they've lost more races in Highlander in general, match loader races, um, than I would actually have thought they would. Um, yeah, their match loader is pretty slow. But yes, this is exactly what I was talking about. They can switch out now. This basketball should have stayed here the entire time. It, they should have switched out, and they're going to make that switch early this time. So that is um, great on blue now. Um, I don't know. Blue really likes these bottoms here, but um, they're going to, yeah, nice D-score in the middle. Oh, they need to do something about this goal. And just keep keep tabs up on overclock. Because um Oh, blue team needs to score in this long goal. And overclock isn't. So pink unicorns is actually going to go out um which is definitely great because um the bat the basket switch heavily um 
negatively impacted Pink Unicorn, so they actually Unicorn should have actually moved out sooner. But uh, yeah, Unicorns is in a tough spot now. And Overclock needs to switch out to this basket and try and defend here. Ooh, a nice, nice D-score from Pinky Horns is exactly what I said needed to be done. It is exactly what happened. So great stuff by Overclock and Pink Unicorns team play. Um, but yeah, I'm surprised that Overclock was actually able to figure that out because, um, yeah, that, that is actually pretty hard play to figure out. But nice job to the red team there. Um, now, blue team is in a difficult position now. Um, basket bot needs blocks. Um, and it needs to contest down this zone. It also has a middle goal it needs to get done. So now, blue team was up. They had the upper hand. Now, um, red completely shifted that, um, which is great. Th this bot needs to match load at some point. Um, it just needs to make sure pink, what, pink unicorns um, leaves... Uh, gives a little bit more space over here towards blue. And this basket needs to come down, maybe use some blocks to grab middle control bonus. Um, because that will definitely make a great play. And yeah, they are going to stock up. They need to go for middle middle goals first. Or, or they, they, they have position to where they can come back here and score now. Um, they could possibly score a bunch. But they're just not going to. They're going to commit all to match to the middle goals, which is actually the safer play. Um, if they could have executed the play that I said before by shoving in here and scoring these, that would have been um, better. But it, it is a bit more risky than the middle goals. And um, yeah, so it looks like they just want to play it safe here. And they want to guard this goal here from uh, Unicorns because they have a good chunk. And up here, we have a good D-score. I want to show that too. Um, we were able to grab a good D-score and... Um, yeah, pink unicorns didn't have much block, so they are they they had to leave and do something about this middle goal because the middle goal bonus, at, like right now at this point, it basically determines who wins. Um, so a lot of fight over it, and right now blue has um, the top bonus, and overclock is going to grab their bottom bonus. So nice job. Yeah, so blue is just going to grab this entire long goal. Um, and yeah, red really needs the, the top bonus. Overclocks needs to defend this basket. Although, man, Unicorns is having a tough time dra grabbing this top goal. And they really need to grab the bonus here. Overclock needs to defend. Oh, crap, the block moves off from the middle goal. Overclock needs to step in. And are they going to? Yes, they are going to. They're going to grab the bonus. Double park? No, they're not going to double park. But blue is going to double park. Um, and yeah, that counts. Wow. Um, that was extremely close. I'm actually not sure who won that. Wow, 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 wow. Blue might have... Whoa, it... Okay, this is really, really close. Um, let's look, let's look at the scores here. Here's the scores here from that, um match and yes overclock and unicorns will secure their world spot which is extremely exciting um definitely deserved from these teams these teams um they had a above average game since they knew what they're doing they, yes they did make a couple mistakes but um mostly they did a pretty good job and congratulations to them um yeah and please consider subscribing yourselves to the channel for a more in-depth content like this, and I'll see you guys next time.